since we are dealing about the series, you will also encounter the word summation or sigma notation. That can be represented in a capital Greek word or Greek letter. This symbol. The root word of summation is sum. So we're going to get the sum of our sequence. Let's say we have the summation of M goes to M is equal to 1 to 4. Okay, let us read. Summation of M goes to 1 to 4. So we're going to get the sum of 1 to 4. So take note that on this part will be our starting number. And this will be our ending number. So this will become 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And the sum is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, which is 10. So this will be the sum. Another one is summation of 2n plus 3 goes to n is equal to 2, 2, 4. So we're going to start at 2 and end to 4. So we have, in the substitute, 2 times, start at 2, plus 3. Let us use the bracket sign. Plus, next after 2 is 3. So we have 2, change end to 3 plus 3 plus 2 times our ending number 4 plus 3. Now, let us simplify. 2 times 2, that is 4 plus 3, 7. Plus 2 times 3, 6 plus 3, which is 9. Plus, 2 times 4, plus 3, 11. 7 plus 9, 16, plus 11, 27. So, the summation of 2n plus 3 goes to n is equal to 2, to 9 is 27. That is on how to solve the summation. And now, I want you to try numbers 1, 2, and 3. If you want to solve numbers 1, 2, and 3, you can pause the video. Then, after answering, you can resume watching to check your work. Now, I will try number 1. First, let us read the given. Summation of n squared minus 1 goes to 4 to 6. So we're going to start at 4 and end to 6. So we have 4 n squared. Let's start with 4. So we have 4 squared minus 1, plus, next to 4 is 5. 5 squared minus 1, plus, next to 5 is 6. 6 squared minus 1. Again, let's have a short review. Let's start to 4. So just change your n to 4. After 4, Change to 5. 
Then after 5, change to 6. That would be our ending number. Now simplify. 4 square, that is 16 minus 1, plus 5 square, 25 minus 1, plus 6 square, 36 minus 1. 16 minus 1, that is 15, plus 25 minus 1, 24, plus 36 minus 1, which is 35. 15 plus 24, that is 39, plus 20, uh, 39 plus 25, uh, sorry, plus 35, so 4 carry 1, 74. So the sum of this sigma notation is 74. Now let's check your number 2 exercises. Summation of 3 raised to n goes to 1 to 3. So we're going to start at 1 and to 3. So just change. 3 raised to 1 plus after 1 will be 2. Then after 2 will be 3. 3 raised to 1 is 3 plus 3 raised to 3 is 9 plus 3 raised to 3, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. 3 plus 27 is 30, plus 9, 39. So, this is equal to 39. For number 1, equal to 74. And our last example. Summation of n squared plus 4n plus 4 goes to 2 is equal, goes to 2 to 3. So let's let's start with two. That will give us two square plus four times two plus four plus three square plus four times three plus four. Okay? Just change the n to two and three. Always check your substitution. 2 squared, that is 4 plus 4 times 2, 8 plus 4. Plus 3 squared, 9 plus 12 plus 4. 4 plus 8, that is 12 plus 4, 16. Plus 9 plus 12, 21 plus 4. 25. So let us add, this is 41. 16 plus 25 is 41. So the sigma notation for this expression is 41. So that is the summation or the sigma notation. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please share to your classmates. And please don't forget to subscribe in our channel.